Hey guys, okay, um, I'm situated here. Um, so this video is going to be on, um, let me, <laughs> about coming out to certain people or, um, the whole world in general. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tell you my coming out story, and then I'll give you a little bit of advice about it, um, how hard, that kind of stuff, like, yeah. Okay, so I have come out to five, six people, um, and they're just really, pe they're people that are really close to me, and that I know I can trust, that kind of stuff, so, um, I have come out to three of my best friends, um, I've come out to one of my guy friends at school, that's four. And I've come out to my sister and my mom. Um, the way I, like, the very first person I came out to was my one of my best friends. And um, what happened that day is we were at school and we had kind of this assembly, well, kind of like a meet and greet. And the first, we had a guest speaker come into our classroom, our homeroom class. And um, it was a guy and he was he there he was at our school to talk to us about the LGBT community and all about um like the clubs that are out there and he was gay in fact himself so he told us his story and like all that kind of stuff he told us how to know if you're gay that kind of stuff um and we decided to have a purple day and the next day anyone that wore purple supported the LGBT community and I knew I, that I was bisexual before that. So the next day when I came to school and seeing all those people in purple, like kind of, I was relieved to know that all those people support them and don't judge them, that kind of stuff. So it was really kind of easier for me to like cope with like me not thinking that they're going to judge me because I knew that they wouldn't because they supported it. So it was a really good thing. Um, so after about... I think it was the third period we were on our way to class and me and my one of my best friends were talking and she we were talking about the whole like the LGBT community and like all that kind of stuff and um we were talking about bisexuals and she came out to me she just Caitlin I'm gay or I'm bisexual and I'm like oh really what a coincidence because I am too and it didn't really go down like that didn't exactly happen like that but yeah so we started talking about it and like how we knew and if we told anybody else and all that kind of stuff and we hadn't so um we just started talking and she was the person that I went to for help she I was the person that she came to for help and then I told my bestest bestest friend um she overheard me and t um my other friend talking about bisexuals and she asked why and I was like I'm bisexual. And she was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, yeah. She didn't really say anything other than, oh, okay. So I didn't really know if she, like, was okay with that. But it turns out she is. She's perfectly fine with it. Like, we're still best with friends. And then, um, my other friend, well, she, my one friend knew before the other two. This is really confusing without names. Um, I'm not going to name them because they haven't come out yet to certain people, so I'm not going to name the one here. But um, my one friend knew before my two best friends from school, and only because um, we had kind of like a fling. It's kind of confusing. Um, we had a fling. And we that's how we knew that's how we figured out that we were bi we figured out that together um... yeah okay so um... so those are my three girlfriends girl friends that are girls girlfriends and then um... my one guy friend from school we are close as ever we call each other brother and sister we say i love you just because we're so close and um... We were talking, and he was like, 
I have a really big secret that I just need to get out there, and you're the only person I trust with it. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm here for you no matter what. And he's like, I'm bisexual. I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, hmm, I am too. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So that was four of my friends um, that I told, only four of them. And um, I told my sister. Um, I was really down and depressed the one day because one of my other friends that doesn't know that I'm bisexual was kind of like making fun of the LGBT community, saying how if her um, niece ever became bisexual that she'd disown her, and I was getting really upset because it hurts me because, first of all, she's my friend, and I am bisexual, so it hurts, hurts me to hear her say those things. And I was really down and depressed, and I was upset with her, and I didn't really talk to her that much. And my sister could tell that there was something wrong, so she asked me about it. And I was like, um, I'm bisexual, and all the jokes that my friend's making is kind of hurting me, and I just don't really want to deal with it, I don't want to hear it. And she didn't really support me at first. Um, she thought I was just going through a phase that um, it was just kind of like a joke to get attention, that kind of stuff. And it just really hurt me, so I don't talk to her about it because I don't know how she, if she f still feels the same way. So I just kind of leave it alone with her, um, because I don't want her to like. I don't want to force her to be okay with it. I'm not gonna do that to her, but I'll just leave it alone. Um, and then my mom. I came up to my mom um, one night. It was just a really awkward night because I was upset. And I just needed to get it off my chest. I just needed to tell somebody. And I wanted to tell her, but I didn't know how. So, um, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I just texted her. I was like, I'm bisexual. I understand if you don't accept me, just tell me and I can leave. I'll go to my, I'll go somewhere else if you don't want to. Because, um, you never know with parents. They'll, they might tell you to leave. They might tell you that. It's just a phase, like, whatever. And there's one, um, one story of someone coming out to their parent, and the parent was saying, you've been sinned, and the devil is inside of you, and all that kind of stuff. It's really bad. Um, so, yeah. It's just not good. And my mom, we talked about it. She told me to come to her, and we talked. And basically it was okay. She accepted me for who I was and all that kind of stuff. It was a good it was a good talk and I'm glad that it's out there now and we still talk about it like it's nothing. And she doesn't treat me different. I'm still the same little girl. Um, but I've only come out to those five people because it's kind of embarrassing. Well not embarrassing, but I know what people think. It's not always good. So my advice about coming out is make sure you're telling the right person. Make sure you're telling somebody you trust. Make sure you're telling somebody that can keep a secret if you don't want certain people to know. And just make sure that you're that they are your true friend and not going to backstab you. Um, and just make sure you come out to the right people, like your best friends if you have any. Um... Coming out to your parents are re is really hard, but it's a good thing, and once they, once you tell them and they accept you, it's a really good feeling. So, that's my advice on coming out. Sorry, this is such a long video. Gotta go now. But, um, don't forget, make sure that it's the right people, and you're, like, amazing for who you are. Either you're gay or not. Just don't forget that. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.